All right, hey everybody, and welcome to a new series here on Bite Size Beefs called Juanito Arcade Mayhem. Now, I picked this game up off of Chrono.gg. If you've been a fan of the show for a while, you know a lot of the What's This Wednesdays happen to come from Chrono.gg. But uh, this is only a few bucks, so I picked it up because it looked interesting. It looked very reminiscent of old video games. It was very nostalgic and parodying old video games. But one thing I wanted to note that was I saw this wonderful little pajamas tag when I was trying to sync the video up and I wanted to show you all the classic pajamas, the Halloween costumes pajamas, the Christmas pajamas, but that's not the best, you've probably seen it already, but the Dragon Fighter pajamas. That's right, they become Goku, Super Saiyan Goku, and Piccolo. I think that's hilarious, it's wonderful. Uh, I guess the second player is the person who plays the green alien guy, I don't know, but <laughs> I don't really... I, I feel like we should just do the classic uh, outfits, but I kind of also want to go with Goku, though. So we're going to see if that would select our pajamas, and then we're going to go ahead and jump right into the game. So it's got single player or two player cooperative. Uh, we only have me here. Unfortunately, my alter ego personality cannot help me play games. So you have easy peasy, which is easy mode, arcade mode, or old school. Oh, we can't even go old school mode. Look at him, though. He's so grizzled and tough. I, I just Can I be old school mode right now? Nah, okay, so we'll go normal mode, arcade mode. We are a very small development team, but we have a big passion for our games. Yay! Whoever that game studio is that I forgot to look up before starting the video. Future me, put it up. <laughs> go, Juanito! Got this! Shut up, Martian! You're distracting me! How many times must I tell you I'm not from Mars? <laughs> How many times must I tell you, boy? No, my record! <laughs> What's that light? Oh no! The the clone cells have infected the machine! The video games are attacking! What? Holy balls, Gluck! What should we do? I've got a plan! Are you ready for adventure? Ready! Yeah! High fives! This might hurt a bit! Wait! Zum Zum! What is Zum Zum? That's, what's happening? Oh man, they're going to the digital world! Where am I going? Whoa! They were going to the digital world, y'all. Oh, we are! We're Goku! Wow, it worked! And you still have both legs? Well, this is the inside of the arcade. Those electronic chips run your games. Uh, now I'm going into Monster Prom, damn it. I didn't want to go into Monster Prom guy. But uh, we, we could give this guy a nice alien voice. Just give me a minute to uh, figure that out. Beware, some clone clono cells are coming. Shoot them. All right, so we've got, obviously, some wham. We got some, we got some dodge. Ah, A is fire. Oh, we have to, we actually have to, uh... Wait, hold on now. Oh, I can only, I can only aim up. Oh, that's interesting. I can only aim up. Weird. <laughs> nice, you might show some promise. Yet. <laughs> that's not his voice. Uh, maybe I could try and do uh, Mar Marvin the Martian. But stay alert. Their approaching clono cells seem to be bigger and stronger. Yeah. That's not my best Marvin the Martian, but it's what I could come up with extremely quickly. This game is reminding me of there was a there was a game with a monkey and you would shoot bubbles above you. I, I don't know the name of it. Oh no, I got hurt. Ah. A power up. Hmm. Pick it up and hold to shoot the button while you move. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. Look. Oh, so beefy. Oh, so beefy. Oh, yes, yeah, so beefy. Power ups. Oh yeah, I forgot I can't aim left and right. I keep pressing left and right to aim left and right. You made it! We are now ready to enter the first infected video game! Let's go! He'll, his, his voice will probably just change. After all, he's an alien. He doesn't have a human voice. Uh, that This is obviously a reference to uh, Earthworm Jim's blaster. You won Mayhem Machine Gun. Lots, lots of destruction. Hold the button while running. Yay, three stars! Oh, look at him. He's so cute with his, I graduated the tutorial. That's so cute. Whoa. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Go ahead. Do it. Follow Juanito Arcade Mayhem on Instagram and or Twitters. Do it. So, looks like our door is open to go to... Ooh, this one looks a little Arabian Nights. It's called Blockets. Oh, is that Tetris? Oh, no, that wasn't Arabian Nights. It's Russian. Oh, it's Tetris. Whoa, they've got multiple... Okay, so it's not just level by level. There's levels inside the worlds. Oh, look at that tongue-waggling animation. Some levels might seem impossible, but there's always a strategy. Interesting to know. I'm glad this isn't random. I'm very glad this isn't random. Block it. Oh, it's even got the music. Listen. 
Do 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 we arrived. This is the first video game you have to save. Do 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 Oh no 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 oh, hey now. Do 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 I shot the balls, yes I did. And I have to oh I can push the blocks, but I can't get hit by them, I don't think. These game mechanics have been heavily altered by the infection. Fire, fire, fire! Whoa, oh, it's glitching! Oh, the kill screen! So I guess I've, I can shoot the bricks without getting hurt. Just keep firing up, keep firing up! Keep firing up! Dodge, slide, dodge! Oh, the little Russian man! I am rushing, dancing men, Russian dancing men. Oh, I could get a life! Nice, I got a life. Got an extra life. Becoming a cat? Oh, nine lives. Lock collector? Wonderful. Wonderful, we're getting all the achievements. This game is actually quite fun. I should start commentating on the actual gameplay. Uh, let's see here now. The controls are actually pretty good. I'm, I'm a little twitchy right now. Win a level without being hit by a block in the Block It game? Nice! Russian Dancing Kid! Hey, there's the meme! So, the Russian Dancing Men is from Mr. Weeble. He made the Russian Dancing Men cartoon. And so I guess that references that. But, uh, you know, the controls are actually quite good. They, they stick quite well. It feels good to move. Like, it, you turn on a dime, so that's really good. Uh, I don't like how there's no auto-fire for just your basic fire, but I guess that's part of the- Whoa! Yo, 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 yo. I guess I can't shoot the green bricks. Okay. But I'm, uh, yeah, so I'm glad- I'm a little upset that there is no, uh, auto-fire, but then I guess that would make the game a little too easy. Right? Because you'd just be able to keep firing up above you without any worry. The game is so close to- I pressed the button. Oh well. Yes. Auto rocket. <laughs> I got food. That's points, but it's not health. There we go. I got a life. There we are. Uh-oh. They're breaking the game again. <laughs> Come on, Goku. You must charge up your spirit bomb. <laughs> Come on, Goku. King Kai, Goku. I can't do a King Kai voice. I've never tried before. But that was my feeble attempt at trying to do a King Kai voice. But Goku! No, I can't... Oh, man, if I... You know what? I should have practiced my King Kai voice when I was younger. I really should have. Or at least watched more Dragon Ball. Oh, I won! Okay, I thought I was about to get hit by that block again. Oh, well. Only two! You know what? We're not perfecting this game. We're not perfecting this game. We're just going through it. But yeah. So I, I like how we have the little Goku uh, outfit rid of the gate. I wonder if there's unlockable outfits. That would be super tight. I'd be super all up in on this. I also like how the colors are changing, just like uh, old Game Boy games. You could change the colors a little bit, just a little bit, not too much. But to, oh no, one plus one clover! Oh, but I got hit! Come on, Goku! <laughs> a stronger enemy is approaching, be careful. I guess the SSJ, or the J in SSJ, isn't for uh, Super, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. It's uh, actually a J for Juanito. SSGSS is actually supposed to be SSJSS. Survival mode unlocked. You can access this new game mode from the main menu. Nice. And we got a gun? Cool. We got a little packet of guns. And I got hit by that because I'm still not used to getting underneath these little green boys. The clono cells. Oh, look at that pelvic thrust. You see that? He was pelvic thrusting his little heart out. He was like, oh, yeah. Oh, I see some Russian lettering over there to the left. The CTP okay? I forget what that is. That's a reference to something. Oh, I thought I dodged. I thought I pressed it to dodge. Dang it. Uh, I'm trying to look at all the, like, references on the sides and stuff while also playing, but this game's a little bit hectic, so what am I going to do? Yup! Yeah. Yup! Yeah. <laughs> I guess if I push them just at the right moment, I can't get hurt by it. That's awesome. Okay, so that's, that's a wonderful little nod to the original uh, Tetris, then, because you can push the blocks from side to side just as they're about to hit, like, the no point of no return, and then you can actually slide them into little crevices that you might have created. Oh, come on! That was jank. Jank and you know it. Juanito. Yeah! Blast it! Oh, I wasn't paying attention to the bricks. We gotta replay that one. Our first loss on Blockets. <laughs> this game's actually pretty tight. I only got this game for, uh... Or sorry, I got this game for only about six bucks, I think it was. Six Canadian bucks. Actually, that might have been American now that I think about it. So yeah, but six six dollars, six US dollars, and that's... So far I'm having six... Right, I can't break through those ones. Man, I hate these green bricks. You can't break through them. Can't live with them, can't live without them. Oh, come on. They got me trapped right up in there. That was a bunch of jank. But yeah, I mean, the controls are tight. I don't feel... I don't feel so far that the controls are giving me any sort of difficulty in completing the game. I feel like the controls are solid. 
and there's no real reason to blame them if you miss a command. That was my fault. That was completely my fault. And, uh, I mean, I press a button, and it immediately does what I want it to do. So, oh, he gave the little Russian dancing man gave me a life. Nice. I like that. I'm going to call that little Russian dancing man the, uh, the stop a douchebag. I don't know if you guys ever watch the uh, Russian channel where they go over the whole traffic thing. But uh, they have the stop a douchebag, and it's wonderful. It's amazing. It's lovely. So yeah, sorry about that. I had to turn down the volume. I realized that sometimes it was peaking on my recording over here, so I had to uh, adjust that. But uh, I did that off camera. I just cut here and let you guys know I did that. But yeah, so I like how uh, they start you out with a couple of costumes to play, just to start out with. Some good nostalgic ones, some Halloween themes. That was great. I like the Halloween theme. Christmas as well. Uh, I wonder if that had to do with anything of them unlocking those costumes around, you know, the uh, holidays. That would have been wonderful. Extra costumes for having the game around the holidays. Wonderful. I didn't have this game around Halloween or Christmas, though. I got it a few weeks ago. So uh, I don't know why that might be in this game, unless they just added it in and then decided to give it away for everybody for free. Come on, Russian Dancing Man. Come on. Yeah! Oh, he gave me a mayhem. Nice. Ooh, those guys have a helmet on top of them? What What does that do? I have to shoot underneath them, so why does that matter? I don't understand. Oh, hey now. Gotta get that cheesecake. Hold on. Oh, do I have to watch out for their falling helmets or something, too? Is that a thing that might happen? Little green nobules. <laughs> Little green nobules. Blammo! Got him. Hmm, the helmet is on top of it. Your shots are under. This retro game logic. Uh, okay, so they did comment on that. I'm glad. I'm glad this game has some self-awareness. To poke fun at itself. So yeah, this game doesn't seem like it's going to be a very long game. To, like, it just seems like a very good arcade style. Man, I keep forgetting that I can hit them with my side. I keep thinking that I'm only my feet. And I need to remember that my Super Saiyan hair... My Super Saiyan hair cannot get touched by alien gel. It just... It can't. If, if Super Saiyan hair gets touched by alien gel, do you know what happens? Well, the whole Frieza arc happens all over again. And then Krillin gets killed. Everybody gets, dies. Just, you know... The Prince of All Saiyans! He, he gets canned. That's just that's how it is. So, nobody wants that. Nobody wants the, the Frieza arc to come back. Oh, yeah! Ooh, what is that? Survival co-op mode unlocked. Wonderful! Play with your best buddy, if you have any, forever alone. <laughs> oh, the memes, guys. This game is memeing. It's memeing on a level that's so hard, even I can't keep up with it. It's too fresh, too clean, too meme. Remember, don't let your memes be dreams. Especially not when you can pelvic thrust like Juanito. That's some epic pelvic thrust action. So I noticed that the big doors for the games have a star requirement. So you're going to have to be able to perform this game at a basic level, I think, in order to progress along. Which is nice. I like how, you know, it, you have to be able to live up to the skill level of the next level or it won't let you go there. I like when games kind of do that a bit just to help get players ready for the next level. Just because I hate when a game lets me go someplace, oh, like, way too powerful for, you know, what I can do. And then I just get trounced because I'm like, why? Did the game let me go here? Why? Then that that usually actually comes about when I can't pay attention or I'm not paying attention. And I just didn't make an informed decision on where to go next in the game. So, you know, that's usually my fault. But I do enjoy when the game does a little bit of legwork for me. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm sure a lot of people also enjoy that. It's, it's a very simple simple thing for people to enjoy in video games is just having their handheld just a bit. Uh, I know some people are absolutely 100% against having any sort of hand-holding at all, but I like a little bit of hand-holding. Not, not too much, but I like at least having all the resources in a game available to me immediately. Just because I, I don't like when I get into a game, you're like, oh, what does this do? What does this do? What does this do? And what they want me to do is play the game for six hours before I realize that's what it does. I mean, if I want to figure something out and I know it's in the game, I want to be told the answer. Like, have it in a help menu. To show me the controls. Show me everything. Because I, I don't want to have to figure everything out on my own. Because there's some things I don't think of. Like, I've been watching these Super Couch Fighters playthrough of Absolver recently. And Santel and Brett were having a great discussion about, you know, the game shouldn't hold your hand completely, but also it shouldn't just immediately come up with a flashing light and tell you, hey, look at this, do this here, this blah, blah, blah. And I agree, the game games shouldn't have, like, the whole, uh, I guess what Aaron Hansen called it in the sequel, I just was the Mega Man, Mega Man! Like, did you know you could do this, Mega Man? It's like, yeah, I kind of figured that out, thanks. I, I kind of want it to be in the game, but I want it to be under, like, a help menu, like... If I want to know what something does... Whoa, I almost got trounced there. 
If I want to know what something does, put it in a help menu. Like, put it somewhere that I can read it if I want to. Don't just assume that I'll figure it out, because I don't figure certain things out in games for a long time, because I'm just not paying attention to that kind of thing. So, I want it to be there in case I'm like, is there something I'm missing? And then go to the options menu, and then find out, oh, I've been missing this thing this whole time. Wow, I can't believe I didn't figure that out. Because I've done that with a few games. I mean, probably even on this channel while recording, because that's just my playstyle. Also, barely made it through. Hooray. Huzzah. We still got three stars? What? P -p -p perfect What do you mean perfect? What do you mean perfect? I got hit so many times. I like how the background is getting uh, procedurally more destroyed and more destroyed as the fart, you know, we go along. That is wonderful. I like that. Little attention to detail. Unless it's been like that the whole time and I just haven't noticed, then oh well, my bad. <laughs> Mayhem gun. I do love uh, the retro aesthetic right now. I mean, it's not really retro, but I do love the uh, retro play style. Oh man, I thought I could keep that up with the bullets. Uh, I like how it's this sort of you shoot and aim up kind of deal rather than aiming left and right uh, like Rise and Shine was. Uh, if you haven't seen the Rise and Shine playthrough, it's only a few episodes. Go ahead, go watch through that. I have a playlist made for it, so it's really easy. Just pop it in. Have a good time. But uh, yeah, in Rise and Shine, you aimed left and right, which was uh, when I figured out to use the mouse. Oh, that's boy, that's when that game gets good. When I figure out the mouse is infinitely better than the controller because I thought it was a controller-based game. I, I really did. When I first picked it up, I thought it was a controller-based game. But I like how it has this uh, vertical aesthetic rather than a left-to-right aesthetic because it keeps the game confined to the one screen. And I think... Whoa! Super Russia! They're, what is that? The Kremlin, I think that is? I really can't believe it! You made it to the level X of the first game! Yo, it's called 10. Oh, no, it's actually called level X. Wow. Ready? Go! I like the old... Arc I love the arcade points at the top, you know... Was that the last Clono Cell infecting this game? That was it? No, there's probably a huge one. Mm, watch out! Something is coming! Oh, it's Danky Kang! Do 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 do. I touched him. I touched the Kang. Hi, Juanito. I'm Trevor the Giant Gorilla. Yo, what's up, Trevor? Yup, his name's Trevor. No copyright infringement here. <laughs> I love it. They're so self-aware. Need help finding the last Clono Cells? Beware, it might hurt. <laughs> Need help finding us, Clono Cells? Me help, me Trevor, me good boy. I'm gonna give him Scott's voice from Monster Prom. I'm a good boy. My name's Trevor the Giant Gorilla. <laughs> Do you have any Trevor snacks? Blast it! Oh, I probably shouldn't have stayed under it. I should have known that was coming. Yeah, I should have known. I should have known better. This is an old school game. Do, 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 do. I don't have any, uh, don't have any other things. Oh, I just figured out I'm using an Xbox 360 controller on my PC. Uh, this is on Steam, by the way. So if you want this game and you like it and you want to have a couple good little bits of fun, go ahead and pick this up on Steam. I'm not going to judge. No, I died. Again. And I fell to pixels. No! I fell to pixels. Hi, it's me again. Do you, do you know, I'm just a good boy. I'm Trevor the Giant Gorilla. But yeah, go ahead, pick this up on Steam if you think it's a good thing. The art's decent. I picked it up because the art looked really decent. Uh, the animations seem to be okay and smooth. I like the nod to old arcade and retro game aesthetic so far. Uh, I don't know if Earthworm Jim was ever on retro, uh, retro arcades, but I do know it was on the Super Nintendo and the DS and the Game Boy Advance and the Game Gear, I think, and the Sega Genesis. So it made its rounds all across the retro gaming sphere. But uh, I hope that we do get to go a little bit more advanced in some of, uh, you know, more modern games. That would be wonderful. I mean, right now, obviously, we're at, like, Game Boy level. Blam, 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 blam. Get out of here. Get out of here, blob. You can't blob me. You can't hit my Super Saiyan hair. My Super Saiyan hair don't care. My Super Saiyan hair don't care. Can I shoot it yet? Nope. I think I just got to survive. So I got to wait until it's going to bait it, bait it, bait it. Yeah, baited. Baited. Get blobbed, son. Yeah, getting more health, too. Nice. I guess... Oh, no, what? I got... Oh, man, I got... I got bopped. <laughs> you bopped. There we go. I was hoping that brick would... Oh, I got bopped again by the stupid Tetris. I got tetris I didn't even know it, but I got tetris The game is so old, and I still don't know how to play. I should just stand in one place and fire up. I don't know why I'm not. It's just... It's how it works. I should stop moving left and right, to be honest. Whoa! It does, oh, he's got a massive blob! Oh, here we go. This is the reward for making it all the way. You just get to blast through the whole horde. 
Yeah! Oh man, I, that was my bad. That was my bad. Oh well, there we go. Blasted through the whole hard. Oh yeah, we got them fireworks. Do the pelvic dance. Do the pelvic thrust. Do the pelvic thrust. Oh no, he charges up. Nice. Oh, I didn't even know we got that. That's wicked. We got a super sand charge up. Nice. Oof, last levels are hard, but baby, you're a firework. Really? 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 You're just gonna Katy Perry me up in here, Glurk? Really? That's fine with me. I'm loving. That's the first game wiped. Nice. We we cleared that first game of all bugs. World cleared. Comrade Juanito. Screen interferences are blowing up right now. Trust me, they are vintage. You won Super Paws? Oh, that's a new power-up. Wonderful. Wonderful. We have the absolute wonderful. Oh, look at that little animation. He's like, hey, 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 I'm going to get you. <laughs> Destroying the scenery can be dangerous. We can destroy scenery. Weird. Oh, we've got 25 out of 30 stars needed for something. Oh, I guess it's 25 out of 30 stars total so far. But there's 246 of these. This game actually is a little bit longer than I thought. Uh, here, we need to unlock all of the final levels before we can get there. So we'll just not look at any of those and go to the next level, which is... Dr. Mario and Breakout? What? This is awesome! So let's go... Actually, you know what? No, it's been about 20 minutes. So uh, I'm going to leave this off here and we'll go into Arcadroid later on the next episode of Juanito Mayhem. Sorry, Juanito Arcade Mayhem. So who knows, it might only be arcade games based on the title alone. But uh, let me know what you think of the game. I think this is really good. I want to continue with this at least for another couple episodes just to throw in a little bit of variety here and there. You know, do a couple short things between Bloodborne and the next few games I have lined up. And, uh, yeah, let me know what you think of the game. Like, do you think it's cute? I think it's cute. I personally like Juanito and Glurk. The main characters are appealing. I enjoy how they gave you costumes right out of the gate. That's wonderful. More games should give you costumes out of the gate and more unlockable down the future. So question, question of the day, actually. Question of the day. Do you enjoy when games give you costumes right out of the gate? And... You know, that's just the main question, but also maybe elaborate. Like, do you also like having more cosmetics be unlockable along your journey as kind of like a, a reward for your efforts? Because I feel like that's my preferred way to unlock things in a game is give me a few up front so I can customize my game and not get too bored or love your game a little bit more right out of the gate and then keep rewarding me as I play and how good I can play, as, or how well I do in the game, I should say. So there we go, that'll be everything for this episode of Juanito Arcade Mayhem here on Bite Size Beefs. Take care, everybody.